Number 1 Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park The Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park offer indoor and outdoor space that can be enjoyed year-round. The outdoor gardens showcase flowers and peaceful green spaces through a variety of garden styles. Number 2 John Ball Zoo John Ball Zoo in Grand Rapids is home to animals large and small from all over the world. One of its best features is the wide range of up-close experiences and animal interactions available to visitors, including the chance to feed spider monkeys, bears, penguins, and pelicans. Number 3 Meyer May House The Meyer May House was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright and built in 1908 for a wealthy clothier. The original structure was a modest-sized prairie-style home that was gradually altered and added to over the years. Number 4 Gerald R. Ford Presidential Museum The permanent exhibits at the Gerald R. Ford Museum contain many insights into the life and times of this Grand Rapids native. Collections include items from the 38th president's childhood and college years, like his Eagle Scout memorabilia and college football uniform. Number 5 Grand Rapids Children's Museum the Grand Rapids Children's Museum offers the city's youngest visitors the chance to explore, learn, and play. One of the most popular areas is Little Grand Rapids, where they can try out being a grown-up in their own little city, complete with a bank, grocery store, auto mechanic, and a doctor's office, where they can examine x-rays and explore health sciences. Number 6 Grand Rapids Public Museum the museum offers a variety of exhibits related to the people and history of Michigan. Visitors can take a walk down a Grand Rapids street that has been reconstructed with storefronts accurate to the times of the 1890s. Number 7 Grand Rapids Art Museum Housed in a LEED Gold certified green building in the downtown area, the Grand Rapids Art Museum houses a diverse and growing collection. Home to more than 6,000 works, the permanent collections include 19th and 20th century prints, paintings, photographs, and sculpture. Galleries also contain examples of decorative arts and modern art and design. Number 8 Blandford Nature Center Blandford Nature Center sits on a 143-acre property that includes wooded areas, fields, streams, and ponds. The Nature Center focuses on promoting stewardship through education on the environment and natural systems. Number 9 Fish Ladder Sculpture This five-step concrete environmental ladder was built by local artist, Joseph Kinnebrew, to assist salmon jumping over a six-foot dam to reach the spawning grounds while providing a piece of unique artwork for the public to enjoy. Number 10 Heritage Hill Historic District Grand Rapids Heritage Hill was the city's first neighborhood, once home to many prominent and influential residents who built the city. In 1968, the Heritage Hill Association was formed to help preserve the neighborhood's history and prevent the destruction of these fine homes, and since then it has been a recognized historic neighborhood. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.